welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4 Kids at 147, and it is time for the last section of Diamond Art Club's Mother Earth. Oh, looks like we have four different colours, and this is potentially the first section with no black because I can't remember if I had another section with no black. Looking at it, I probably had another section down here, but I may well have done it in a two strip, which is why I may not have thought that I got one with no black. So I am gonna be using um, the yellow tray, which went live on Friday evening and has actually, unfortunately, all gone unfortunately and fortunately you know there's a bit of both in there um but it was it was a it was a more relaxed launch this this month i must say um i think it was about it was under 50 minutes i think it was about 45 minutes for them all to go of the trays so it was definitely a bit more a bit more of a launch we like, a little bit more relaxed. People have chance to to buy and to check out and things like that. Let me zoom you in so you can actually see the four colours that I'm doing. Um, I've just tipped the last of what I have in this tub. I may well have more, but I'm going to see if this is enough for this section. Um, but yeah, it was it was a nicer launch. I mean, we do we do appreciate every single order, um, and it definitely shows us what colours are popular when things do sell out rather quickly. Um, but yeah, it's nice to know that people had the chance to check out and weren't hit by complete crazy, um, even if. They did still go within the hour. Um, but yeah, I hope everybody got the tray or trays that they wanted. It's actually Easter weekend, which it probably is for everybody. But it is a bank holiday on Easter Monday here. So orders will go out on Tuesday as soon as the post office is open. So it actually gives us a little bit more of a relaxed weekend to pack as well to pack orders can spread it out over a couple of days rather than trying to fit it in in a mad one. I think my glue dot in this pen is wearing out just a little bit because I have managed to squeeze in some diamond painting this week. I have actually finished all the cocktail mini sets. So I was doing one or two each evening, just testing Luna with me diamond painting. So I was doing a couple of those each evening and then I decided to take into the conservatory the Add More Zest logo, 30 by 40 that I kitted up because it has a big background of white. So I thought, well, I can just tip diamonds into a tray. I'm not switching about diamonds loads so I can pay attention to what she's doing around me and sort of give that a go and before you know it I'd finished that one and I finished all my houseplants and cocktails edition. So when I have actually finished this section which is probably not going to be as long a one as I thought due to being only four colours, is it four? Yeah. No, five, if we include that little strip of yellow. Due to it only being five colours, I probably will finish this one quicker than I thought. And then I actually don't have anything kitted up, which is, is kind of weird. I still have a load of whip and chat comments and questions, but I also do have a load of other videos that I want to do for this next week or so. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. 
I'm not sure exactly how, we'll see how the day goes because I filmed this one first. Um, I think I might, yeah, I might sort of see what videos, because while I do have a load of kitting down to do, I think a week worth of kitting down videos is not the same as a week worth of whip and chat videos. It's not quite got the same ring to it, I don't think. So I think I might do a few more whip and chats, but not as many as there has been the last week. For the purpose of getting through the comments and also because I'm just enjoying coming into the craft room, diamond painting, chatting to you guys, waffling about nothing and all the rest of it. So, but I need something kitted up to do that. I do have my heaven and earth design. What I also think I'm going to do, say we'll see how life works, but I think I might try and make a conscious effort to not kit up another couple of paintings too quickly. So kit up one that I can do some whip and chats with you guys, but keep it in here, in my craft room, and actually take my heaven and earth design, the black, white and grey one, so the mini beautiful light, the easier one of the two. Because, you know, let's not start with something that's hard. Let's start with something that's a bit easier. And I might try and do more of that each evening um, and do that on the dining table because it's easier with the bigger space with having um, the tablet out as well as the diamond painting and of course the diamonds. It's not as easy, basically I need to be able to put it on my table or my easel which it my easel is the size of my table I use when sitting on the couch and that doesn't allow me to easily access and mess about on the tablet for the symbols. So I think I'm going to set myself up on the dining table and try and see if I can kit up a painting which will come up this next week for doing whip and chats and then you try and plow through as much of my Heaven and Earth Design Mini Beautiful Light before I get to the point of kitting up another 30 by 40 painting. So that, you know, I can, I can make some progress with it. I feel like I need at least one of them to be done of the Heaven and Earth Designs or at least a lot closer to being done than not being done. Let's go for more than 50% maybe, more than 50% done by the end of the year. And I think that might be the way to do it is I'll do more whip and chats with a large painting, which I'll let the app decide which one it's going to be. There's a couple that I am really itching to do, but nope, I'm going to let the app decide which large painting I'm kitting up to replace this one. I will work on my Heaven and Earth Design Mini Beautiful Light and maybe bring that in for, provided I get some done, for next Sunday's Whip and Chat, I'll bring in the Heaven and Earth Design so you can sort of see where it's up to. And then I may or may not continue doing that for another week before I think about kitting up say a 30 by 40. It will depend on when I've got things de-kitted. I like to, ideally, I prefer to de-kit my large painting before I kit up a new large painting. Same with the smaller, I prefer to de-kit it before I kit up a new one. It's sort of the correct order of things, isn't it? So I'm gonna break that this week. I'm gonna kit up a large painting before I de-kit this one because that will allow me to do the extra whip and chats. I'm gonna to need to put either another glue dot or a new glue dot in this pen tip because I'm sick of stabbing the diamonds twice. Um, 
I might try taking it out actually and putting it back in. Let me just grab a set. Have I got any tweezers in here? I do. Um, this isn't the recommended to do with metal pen tips. It's not recommended to use tweezers to take them out. But I don't tend to try and do it near the metal. I try and get my tweezer to go basically straight in the middle. Pull out my glue dot rub it round on my fingers and then put it back in and it never seems to go all the way in as deep as it was before which means it normally has a bit longer working if it doesn't then I need a new glue dot and seeing as the rolls come with about 300 on them I think I think I can afford to put a new glue dot in if required but this is the easier option is to just take the one out that was in there, roll it round and bob it back in. Um, so yeah, I'll kit up a large painting first so that I can do some whipping chats, you know, progress on a large painting and enjoy that process, but then enjoy my heaven and earth design through the week. And then next Sunday we'll see how far I may or may not have got with it because I haven't done any since the last since the last whip and waffle um, I did put it out on the dining table to try and do some more but then we got Luna and she's kept me distracted for a few weeks um, so I'll scatter in whip and chats I'll also be de-kitting my paint gem paintings, my mini house plants and the cocktail set and then I do have an abundance of frames um, from Ikea and from other places so of course some are more local supermarkets to me <coughs> but it's just to give you an idea of what the images look like in different frames so that will be a fun video to do when I've de-kitted those. I also have an unboxing so I have received my new release from Carrot.Art who now ship to the UK by the way so Fox Girl is a painting that I unboxed a while ago um, and I absolutely love it that's the one that I keep thinking I might I might just not let the app decide and kit up but I've decided against that now I'm going to be good and go with the app um, but my new release has arrived and I tested out their website and the shipping to the UK and it all arrived on Saturday. So I'm rather excited to get that unboxed. It won't appear in the next large painting I can do, I can do until it goes in my logbook. Um, but I will be, I need to do a logbook update. I need to get the spare diamonds that are extras that I'm not keeping myself that I'm passing on to others. I need to get those into one of my storage boxes to make life easier for myself. I'm trying to make it a lot easier for myself because, yeah, there's a photo box there and it currently doesn't have anything in it. So while I don't need it for my rounds, I'm going to use it for my extras because at least then it's not valuable space being taken up by an empty box because that's just not right so yeah loads and loads of different videos coming but I'm still going to have quite a few whip and chats because of course I do so well at getting through comments like today I, 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 I'm on the third colour and I have yet to start reading out comments but I wanted to give updates first I also do want to say a massive thank you to Margaret. Margaret has been sneaky again and very, very nicely ordered from the candy box 
to be delivered to us um, and she's very kindly ordered us a bag of jellies and a bag of chocolates and there was a chocolate rose in there as well um, so thank you ever so much Margaret they're going down extremely well in fact oh, there's some mini eggs as well there was a bag with some mini eggs as well I forgot because those have gone already um, the mini eggs have gone the jellies have gone and there's, there's still some of the chocolate and the chocolate rose left because we were trying to limit ourselves but they have been very very gratefully received so thank you Margaret um, that also reminds me, I have set up a web page on my website, which is called Links and Codes. So that gives you links to some of the websites um, that you may wish to purchase diamond paintings from and or sweets from. The candy box is on there. Uh, any websites that I do have a discount code for, the discount code is also there. So I don't have a discount code for every website, but any website I do, there is a discount code and there is the link. Um, some of the links may be affiliate links. Not all of them are. Some of them are. Um, that it doesn't cost you any more, but I may get... A little bit of a kickback if you choose to purchase but there's no you know there's no must do there's no click on that link and you have to going on there but I've put them all there to make them a bit easier I always most of the time I always put links in the description especially for unboxings I do sometimes I do for kitting ups and whip and chats it really does depend um, on whether I have the link handy. But I've started to put different websites up there um, that seem to be, you know, the more popular ones. And as I say, ones that I have discount codes for. And I'll try and keep up, keep up adding more to that links page. But I've just gone for the key ones for now mainly the discounts and a couple of other companies that I work with quite a lot are up there for now as a starter and we'll see how it goes. I of course all also have the My Favourites tab and the Videos tab on the website. My Favourites is a link to a lot of project products that I regularly use so that you can see where I've got them from. So things like storage cases, tools that I use, things like that, they are linked in the favourites. And then I have a video section that, that highlights some of my YouTube videos that might have more useful information in for you if you're a beginning diamond painter. And they're broken down into different sections. So please go and check out and have a browse of the website which is always pretty much always detailed in this bottom corner because there's loads of information there as well as as well as the shop it's not all about the shop the website was actually started as a place to be able to find the links and the favorites um, primarily for you guys but also for me because I still often get asked in the comments where I've got something from. It enables me to find the link a lot easier, um, as much as it enables you guys to find the links easier. So by all means, go and check that out. So yeah, I think that's the updates from me at the moment. I think that's all the updates I've got. We'll find out. I may have some more when I go through the comments. Um, so the first comment I've got here is from Alice. I'm actually not sure if I've read this out before due to the fact that it is from a few weeks ago, but I don't think I have. So apologies if I'm repeating myself um, or repeating Alice. But Alice has said she was lucky enough to snag um, a purple tray, which was the limited edition last month. Um, 
And she's so, so grateful that she did, she says, because seeing me use the tray on a whip and chat uh, makes her excited to get her order. Uh, she says she's saying this on launch day. She was sat on Instagram and watched the time go down. She said, and once it reached two seconds, she added it to cart and checked out as fast as she could. She said by the time she checked out, the large tray had sold out. Um, and the next minute, the Zesty sold out. Yes, purple was crazy. Um, we much prefer a slightly calmer launch, especially because mishaps and things can happen um, with payments or just with internet speed. We much prefer the sort of 40, 45 minutes, while it's still quick, and we would be happy if we could print more, we'd be happy to have them there all month. Um, 40, 45 minutes makes us feel like, you know, people can get on the website at around launch time and check out without it being a blind panic. Um, and if anything happens, you know, they have a little bit of time to sort it, fix it, deal with those security codes from the bank, whatever sort of thing pops up. Um, she says she's waited for the purple launch to get the limited edition. She says she has no regrets at all. And she says, thank you for the work and effort you put into your trays and everything else you and the fam bam do. Thank you so much, Alice. You should have, hopefully you've got your purple tray by now. I'm not actually sure which country you live in. Uh, we've had, there's a few customs problems in the Netherlands and Denmark that make orders take a bit longer than we would like. Um, but hopefully you've got your purple tray by now and are thoroughly enjoying using it as well. Uh, Suzanne, she says she's just returned from a seven day cruise. Woohoo, very nice. I hope you got the nice weather cruise. Uh, she spent the mo majority of the day, she says, catching up on videos. She says, happy Mother's Day to me. And she really hopes Megan is feeling well soon. Yes, Megan is feeling loads better. She's actually um, been out getting her hair done and stuff this weekend, which is nice. Um, means I, I need to put it on my list as well, actually. Go and get my hair done. Um, I hope you're going to show off your new kitchen when it's completed. Yes, that's another thing that I need to do a video on, on my list. It's currently half term here. Um, so half term and of course Easter at the moment, so longer days off. I am going to try and get that done, I think probably one afternoon when I finish work that little bit earlier but there's still somebody in the house to watch Luna and I might just shut them in the conservatory and try and get that kitchen video done but it is on my list um, she says she's excited to see if it looks like anything my mind has made it look uh, she can't believe that I'm almost done with Mother Earth and it's going along quite fast she says thank you for sharing Yes, this one does seem to have gone really, really fast, especially this last section now. I'm about to do the last colour, um, but the painting itself seems to have gone a lot faster. I don't know if it's because I had the Minions for a year, but it's still been about two, three months. So is it the painting that's going fast or is it just the time at the moment? Is it just the fact that time is flying by? I mean, it can slow down now if it would like, because we're getting into spring. I'm quite happy for spring to stay around for a while. April showers can go away, but I'm happy for spring to stay for a little bit. Um, Jordan says, I'm new here. Hello. Uh, but I love listening to your talks. Um, they were wondering, what do you do with all of your Dawn Diamond paintings? Do you sell them or just give them away? 
Um, they're just wondering because they have lots of diamond paintings and not sure what to do with them when they're done. Uh, there's a variety of things that I do with my diamond paintings. My smaller ones, some are framed around the house. I also have an A3 binder. Is it A3? Yeah, an A3 sort of document wallet. One that has sort of the fixed in plastic bits that you can slot big pieces of card into. Um, and I stick my smaller diamond paintings to a piece of black card and put them in there. I currently have three of those under my desk. I have a little gap between the units under my desk and my desk and it houses those. It also houses things like my paper trimmer and stuff. So I put some in there. I do have a bigger A2. Is it A2? It might be A1 actually. Um, artist's folder that sits underneath or slides underneath my couch. That has a few diamond paintings in. I have a few that are of course framed around the house. I have quite a lot that are framed and up in various places of the home. I love to go looking for a new diamond painting or maybe a, a you know one that fits a room that I'm decorating or about to decorate. I love to go looking for pictures and diamond paintings that will work for that. Some I do also give away once I'm done. It's the process I enjoy doing. It's not always about the framing and displaying for me. It's the process of putting the diamonds and seeing the picture come to life. So I do a mixture. I don't tend to sell. I don't tend to sell the paintings because to me, you're not going to get something that something back that, you know, is to the cost of the amount of time that you've spent on it. You need to enjoy the hobby for the hobby. Uh, but I do like to give them away, especially if there's, you know, there's a painting that I finished that somebody else would like to display or has a perfect place in their home where they can put it up. Then... Um, giving it away to me is, is the best result. It gets to shine, um, whereas it might not shine in my house. It might be rolled up in its original in its original box or hidden under my couch. But yeah, I don't have the ideal ideal place for all of them. Maybe I should do, you know, a framing session with a load of them and try and sell them and just get maybe the cost of the frame back so in a way I'm giving away the painting but people are seeing it framed I just I'm not particularly in a rush until they get to the point where I don't have the space to store them I actually find that a completed diamond painting takes up less room than the kit because of course you've not only got the painting, you've then got all the diamonds that go with it. You can't trim it down to fit it in a binder because you need, you do need the edges to be able to put your diamonds down. Um, so yeah, that's, that's where mine go. Good question, Jordan. Uh, Naomi. She says she's finally getting around to watching this whip and chat. So she's currently, well, she's commented on a whip and chat from the Minions. Um, she's been working through December slowly. Well, I hope you're getting caught up, Naomi, but there's definitely been a few this last week, um, which will definitely give you more to catch up with. Um, she said it was her painting that never showed up. And she was planning on doing it for Advent, but she's going to do it in June now instead. So, yeah, Naomi was extremely patient. She had a tract order that just seemed to have stopped. It did nothing. It went nowhere. 
um, patient all the way up to the point that we were able to put a claim in with our postal service. We put the claim in, we sent another one out to Naomi because we did keep um, one or two paintings aside for any mistakes that may happen with shipping. Um, just because it was a big launch event and then it the order arrived and two weeks later her original order arrived I think it was about two weeks and then the parcel company denied our claim due to the fact that it arrived and it's like well that's only because you took a month to look at it if you'd have looked at it sooner you would have seen that it hadn't arrived but anyway anyway the main thing is that Naomi got it um, she's given her mum the second one, so at least somebody's going to get some enjoyment out of it. Naomi did offer to send it back, but she was so, so patient. There is, there is only, it just, it just was not worth the hassle. It, we just appreciated her patience so much that I'm much happier the fact that she has had the opportunity to pass it on to somebody who will hopefully enjoy it. Um, she's going to do it in June instead, and she's going to try and get her mum to do it in June as well. Awesome. Do it in with the June waffle. I have no idea which one I'm doing for the June yet. I still don't know whether to purchase one specifically for it or whether to do one that I have in my stash. I will have to start looking at that soon, I guess because the way this year is going, June will be here before we know it. Uh, Lama said, same, happy Mother's Day to you. And Tracy, she says she loves listening to me while she diamond paints. She switched to glue dots, uh, but today she's struggling to find the sweet spot, but she does prefer it to wax. She says, thanks for the tip. She loves the glue dot click. Yeah, I definitely have some days where a glue dot does just seem to take ages to get to that nice spot. I feel like I'm forever dabbing it on my clothes. I know I've definitely done that in a whip and chat multiple times. Um, my pen all of a sudden moves and starts dabbing. I think that's the reason I take the glue dot out of my pen as well and just try and push it back in. I do find I suffer a little bit more with it overhanging and I have to sort of tuck it round um, until it settles. But I don't have that anywhere near as much of that struggle of it not letting go of the diamond and just staying stuck and not actually going on the canvas so I'll keep doing it until the glue dot says that it's had enough and it's time to rest in peace. Uh, Sherry she says where did you get the large clip to hold the diamond painting? So the large clip that I have on this canvas that will have been visible at the beginning um, it's actually from DIY Choose. I do have some little quilt clips as well and they do work okay. Um, but my light pad is really thick because it is a wireless light pad. So it's actually a lot thicker than a normal light pad. And while the quilt clips do hold the painting, I always feel as though they're a little bit more fiddly to get on because of the fact that I am stretching them to their full capacity. So this big clip is actually, it's just quicker. It's quicker and slightly easier, which is why I just go for it. I actually got it, it was an unboxing from DIY Choose. I think somebody has told me recently that DIY Choose, they couldn't find them on their website. But if you search for the likes of towel clips, you should be able to find something 
there should be quite a few places that sell them um, and you can get yourself a towel clip or two that will hold on to your diamond painting if you need it. I normally prefer it a little bit lower down on the canvas but I try not to put it on the diamonds. Um, I feel like if I accidentally tugged on the canvas for any reason, you know, if I slipped or something, it could potentially drag the diamonds with it. So I try and stick it on the clear part. That's got no diamonds. Uh, Nicola, she says, Hi Rebecca, she says, love these whip and chats. She says, maybe you could add some A, B tips and tricks. She says, like using pretty places or alternatives um, and what you might need to or how to replace regular diamonds with A, Bs in a painting without it being too much. She said, i.e. picking colours um, to replace that are more scattered or only replacing colours so that you don't get huge blocks of ABs and even more simply showing the difference between regular diamonds and AB diamonds for people that haven't had them before. That is a really good idea Nicola, thank you. I do need ideas for tips and tricks. Um, they will be coming back, I do have a few more. Um, they're just things that I I need to put certain things in place to be able to show them and yeah there's a there's a few steps that I need to take to implement some and then I do have some more because life's been so busy at the moment uh, tips and tricks while they're shorter videos some of them do just need a little bit more work so I will be continuing with that series once I've had just that bit of time to get my head around um, the tips and tricks that I still want to do, get any products that I need to be able to do them. So I will be doing a tip and trick on diamonds that are stuck together. You know, when you get a diamond where it's actually sort of back to back with another diamond, I want to do a tip and trick on that. And the last time I got some diamonds like that in a kit, I de-kitted them and completely forgot about the fact that I wanted to do that tip and trick first. Uh, but I have some diamonds that are the same, are stuck back to back. I have had some in a recent kit. Um, so I'll do a tip and trick on how to break them apart in an easier way so that you don't end up doing what I used to do and what I often still do if I can't be bothered getting up, uh, which is using my fingernail to prise them apart um, when I need to split them. So there is a way that you can sort of do more of them at once and take out that frustration out of your diamond painting because I know it can infuriate some people more than others. Um, mine is, I say, partly laziness. I don't want to get up and deal with all of them at once. And the other one is quite often, I just don't mind just breaking them apart with my fingernails and moving on. Uh, it doesn't tend to frustrate me as much as it may do others, but it's, it's a good tip and trick to have, especially if you have maybe a few colours that it's on, it would probably frustrate me more. Um, or if you find it's, you know, a big batch of one colour. So, yeah, I will add some AB ones to my list and start bringing a few of those tips and tricks back. I'm still determined to get to 100. I know full well there'll be loads of them that I'm missing. Um, and we're well over the 50 mark. I say well over. We're over the 50 mark. Let's not exaggerate, but we're over the 50 mark. Um, so yeah, I'll start doing the harder ones, i.e. I need a bit more of a setup or I need that scenario 
to have happened to one of my paintings to be able to do it. Uh, yeah, and get some more tips and tricks videos done and up on the channel. Right, I was just getting rid of the little bits of trash that ended up in my tray. And I can get, oh, it's nearly finished, nearly finished. Uh, Polly and Diamond Sparkle Chase both say welcome to Luna. Oh, this video, oh, it was a couple of weeks ago, this video when I advised you all that we do now have a new little puppy. She is, she is doing really well, actually. She is, she's now, I've found that training her or new things, just the basic things like sitting and staying and leaving, you know, leaving something alone until told. Um, she does absolutely fantastic when it comes to her food. She's, she does pick things up really, really quickly. Even things like we have a stair gate now um, between the conservatory and the kitchen. The past couple of days she's got really good at realising that nobody is going to open that gate until she's moved back and sat down which allows you time to go out of the gate. Um, she's getting a lot better at that and realising that people do come back. So, yeah, she's she's settling in really well um, and is good at learning the new tricks and stuff. She went for her first walk the other day. Now her injections have hit their mark, so she... Um, I actually didn't go on the walk, the kids took her for a walk and apparently she was really good on that walk. She was very interested in sniffing everything of course, uh, but she did really well and she sat when they got to a road before they crossed the road, so she enjoyed that um, and she was quite pretty happy being bathed, having her bath. Uh, wasn't so keen on getting dry though. I think that's just because she wanted to try and do it herself probably and just escape and shake water everywhere. But she's learning all the new things and settling in really, really well. So that's good. Um, Darcy said um, her boyfriend is wanting another dog. Said since we had to put our Boston to rest from intestinal cancer. Ooh. Uh, just on the fence about it, she said, I would be the one taking care of it. And um, we still have our taco. Um, Oscar is now about four years old, she says, and pretty quiet. And she's not sure whether she wants to train another. I can get you with that one. I think it is something that you... It's harder if you're not in the right mindset, I think. Um, you know, we've been rather lucky, I think. When we look back, there's definitely a few days of, oh my goodness me, what have we done? Um, but looking back, she's been pretty, pretty good to train and pretty quick on picking up on things in the general scheme of things. Um, but yeah, you do have to be ready for it, I'd say. Um, and if you can get them, I've, I've recently read, this did now pause, but if you can get them when they're a bit older, they tend to be a bit calmer. So, you know, like 11 weeks or so, especially if they're still with the litter, uh, because they learn a lot of the, the no biting and the, the social skills and all that sort of stuff from their siblings and from playing with their siblings. So um, you'll find a lot more of that sort of training is ingrained, which can make for a karma dog. Because the, the no biting of people is something that seems to have taken the longest to get out of Luna. Um, or to get her not to do and to play nice. 
has taken a little bit longer but once we you know once we found the technique that worked with her it's been loads better and she does really well now when she's told to stop biting so we'll call her a good dog for that one um the cat lady she says she's had a bit of a push on diamond painting since the new year she says she's completed four all the gifts for other people and one for her kitchen uh, she treated herself to two diamond art studio she said for christmas for my christmas birthday uh, she also has six large paintings to do and a raft of smaller ones she said as money will be tight in the coming months uh, she'll need to work on what she has um, and do a no buy she says so it's just as well that she has plenty to be getting on with she says enjoy your puppy they all teeth on shoes etc oh yes if I take my slippers off she's she's off um, she said on shoes etc she said then hers teeth on chair legs and table legs oh and door frames uh, she loved wood I'm not looking forward to that one because there's a few chairs for her to pick from in our conservatory. Um, she says she's sure that you'll get so much joy from Luna. Yeah, she does have her little, her little quirks already that do make you smile, especially the way she sits down. Um, but I'll have to try and try and get a little video of how she sits herself down. Um, because she sits down as you would expect but then she shuffles her feet back so she sat on a high knee um, and yeah it's just it's sweet when she's waiting for something right that is mother earth done let me shift some of this out of the way so that is the big towel clip it's a beast it's a beast of a clip and let's have a quick a quick look at what this looks like in its fullish glory oh, look at the colors oh I forgot I had a clip on there look at that so I am going to have to turn it around so that you can see it fully but the colors in it look at the bottom like the colours in the bottom of that are amazing. So tilt your heads so that you can see it all. But she is done. Uh, absolute joy to work on this one. I think I think the bright colours really helped. Um, even though there was some dark colours, the colours that were in there really did pop um, and made it an absolute pleasure. And there's a really nice scattering of ABs as well but she's done so thank you all so much for joining me while I finished Mother Earth I'm gonna yeah I think I'm gonna let the app decide my next large one so that I can fit in a couple of whip and chats in with the de-kitting process uh, I now have four different painting slash painting set to de-kit so I need to de-kit Mother Earth I need to de-kit the Admiral Zest logo 30 by 40 and I need to de-kit my two paint gem mini series get all of those de-kitted um, so I'll get a big one kit up get all the de-kittings spread out over the next week or so week or two or three um, and then I'll probably kit myself up another small one. Um, and we'll, yeah, we'll see how far we go. But thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.